The signing of Executive Order 9066 was not an isolated event. It was the culmination of more than three decades of anti-immigration laws and racial discrimination. In 1943, very few people knew of the executive order that had put 120,000 Japanese Americans in concentration camps. Today, we do not have the luxury of claiming ignorance. We cannot allow this to happen again to another visible, easily profiled minority group. After transferring from Heart Mountain, Wyoming to Two Lakes Education Center, Senator, my draft knows telling me to take my pre-induction physical at the Two Lake Hospital. On May the 3rd, 1944, I chose not to go for my physical as I lost my citizenship. I lost my freedom, my liberty to come and go at please. I could not register to vote and I was confined behind barbed wire fence with guard towers surrounding us. I really want to thank the Neomachi Outreach Committee of San Jose for once again bringing us together. Uh, bringing us together this year at a time where it's more necessary than ever for us to come together. What stands us apart from 75 years ago today is our ability to use our civic awareness and employ legal argument to take a stand against injustice, hate, discrimination based on race in the name of political gamesmanship. But it's not a question of Islam versus Christianity, or Muslim versus Jew, or whites against blacks. The problem is much more complex and cannot be resolved by simple answers such as deportation to all Muslims. Our own double standards have been exposed and it's time we looked in the mirror. It is time we admitted our part in inflicting political wars and confusion that have led to our own and other people's destruction. To lump an entire body of practicing Muslims into the category of terrorists based on the evil acts of a few is discrimination at best bigotry in the least, and unconstitutional in the eyes of the law. The process of eliminating hate does not begin and end in the White House. It begins in each and every one's house. It begins by having a dialogue with our neighbors, our children, and our local community. And I think that uh, the, the theme, stand up to hatred, is uh, it's timely. I think that um, this theme of um, targeting other people because they have less power, targeting other people because they're not in this country, targeting other people by saying that, you know, we're not going to let you into this country, we're going to build a wall, and not recognize the human conditions from which these folks are fleeing. This country is much bigger and much better than that. This is not the America that will go down in the history as a great America. The backlash this order received is probably unprecedented in terms of the number of citizens, legislatures, state officials, and judges who stood up and issued decrees against it. That is the America that will go down in history as a great nation.